All right, this is one last midnight. Today we're going to talk about New World Amazon Games, new game that came out just a few days ago. And, you know, I, is it broken? Is it not broken? Is it worth it? Is it not worth it? You know, is it a big giant turd? Man, that's all subjective, I guess. The game is a great game, but they're having serious problems, mainly with the queue times. And the first day at launch, you know, the server that I picked, which was Olympus in the U.S. East region, was at 8,000 Q, which, you know, if you calculated that math-wise, would have been like, I don't know, 12 hours or something, maybe more, uh, to get actually into the game. It was probably something like days, you know. I, I don't know what the exact calculation is. But I know that currently right now, the server that we're on, because they did spin up new servers shortly after the launch. So I'm experiencing queue times of like 600 people in queue. And it looks like, you know, it's roughly about two hours to get into the game, which is ridiculous. And it's extremely frustrating for people who just purchase the game and want to get in and play it. And they can't do it because the servers are just absolutely packed. Now, they have spun up many, many, many new servers. Matter of fact, they've spun up double the amount of servers that they did on day one of launch. But it all goes back to, I can't believe that they had this problem to begin with. How do you not anticipate the game that is like highly anticipated? How do you not have some sort of contingency plan in place to instantly spin up servers or turn on servers. And they claim that they didn't know they were going to be so popular. But you know what? Amazon is the largest cloud-based service on the planet. And so I call bullshit on that. You know, they should have known in advance about this problem. So uh, they have posted a couple tweets uh, a couple days ago uh, talking about they've spun up servers. They posted tweets about they're trying to make available... Uh, the ability to transfer your character to a different server, and they're working frantically on that. Today, they actually tweeted that, you know, oh, we've been humbled by the growth of the New World community, blah, blah, blah. We're staggered by the number of players that we got. Whoa! And it's just like, you know, come on. It's bull. At any rate, they said, be patient with us. We're working on getting even more servers up and running. We're trying to increase the population cap of each of the servers. And within the next week, you'll have the uh, ability to be able to transfer your character over to a server that is not as populated anymore. And that's all fine and dandy. But, you know, once you've got like a big group of people and you're trying to transfer those groups of people over to a new server, it's going to be a little bit problematic to begin with. I don't even understand how they didn't have this as a contingency plan from day one. How do you not program in the ability to transfer over your character from day one? How do you not do that? I mean, it just doesn't make any sense to me as an application developer to not have that feature in place. What if you mistakenly started on a server and and your buddy started on a different server and you've got a couple hours into it how do you how do you not have that feature from i don't get it you know their solution is obviously hey start a new character and 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 on a server that's not as populated but who wants to do that who wants to invest another two to three hours in building up their character if they're that far into the game you know the game in and of itself is what you would expect from an mmo so for those of you who don't know anything about New World, maybe are watching this because you just want to know if, if it's worth buying or not. At New World is like any other MMO. It's an RPG game. And if you've ever played an RPG game in the past, you'll know that you have to wind up doing a series of quests. There's some overlying story and you follow the main storyline and then you've got sub quests underneath that. And then you have other little quests that you can do that are not related to the main story or sub story and and those are just like you know help out whatever help out this person to do this or do that so the quest variety is typically kill quests gather quests deliver quests uh, which they also call fedex quests 
uh, gather quests, find quests, th those type of things. Those are the quests that you usually wind up with in RPGs, and all RPGs have a very similar flair. The only difference between this and a normal single-player RPG is that there's thousands of, or maybe even millions of people playing at any given point in time. And, and on your server, I don't know what the server cap is currently, but let's say the server cap is 10,000, so you have 10,000 other people playing with you and possibly even doing the same quest as you. The, the gameplay of the quests is fun. A little bit frustrating when you're talking about trying to do gather quests and you've got so many other people trying to do the same gather quests. There seems to be a little bit of a problem with the way that they do gather quests. In, in one great example is, you know, you have to go kill some elks and skin some elks. Killing the elks aren't necessarily the problem, but skinning is. And you've got so many people there that when you actually kill an elk, it doesn't flag it as yours. So it's available for anybody to run up on and skin it. And so typically what happens in quests like that is somebody will kill the beast and you'll have a mob of people trying to run and skin it so that they can you know, finish their quest of, of actually skinning that particular item. And there's other quests that are go kill some named creature, whether it be a named bear or some named uh, enemy. And you've got tons of people just standing around trying to kill off said named enemy. And you're waiting for the respawn of that enemy to even take a whack at it. And hopefully you get it. And maybe you do, maybe you don't. So those type of quests to me seem a little bit broken. There's some sort of game mechanic that is not that great. The other aspect of New World and any other RPG typically is some type of crafting. And the crafting system inside of New World is actually pretty dang extensive. But when you start talking about crafting in New World, you're talking about one hell of a grind. So you have to grind out those resources. Again, you're fighting and competing for resources with other people. And that seems to be pretty challenging to get resources at times, especially when the server is full. So it's, you know definitely tough to get those base resources that you're looking for to up your crafting the game in my opinion overall is fun i mean i enjoy it. it when i am able to get in and do it it's fun it is repetitive but the graphics are great uh hanging out with friends is great and you know outside of you know if everybody can get through their queue and play it's a lot of fun there's a limit of five people in a group I am i don't know how I quite feel about that. I would love to see it more than five people in a group, but it is what it is. And there's this whole aspect of PvP and wars and stuff like that that happened inside of New World, which I haven't gotten into yet, but I think a lot of people find very attractive and enjoyable. So at any rate, you know, do I feel it's kind of a failure did did new world deliver what they were going to deliver in some sense yes they did in other sense no they absolutely didn't and if you look at the steam reviews it's completely mixed right they don't have a great review it, it's not like they are on top of the reviews at all i think people are extremely upset about the queues i think they're extremely frustrated about some of the quest lines and having to compete for resources uh, but if you're, you know, can deal with all of that, if you can get yourself onto a light server and you haven't invested any time, you know, there's many servers out there now that don't have uh, very much of a population on there or zero queue at all, then you can have a fairly decent experience. When the population is low, the gather quests are not that difficult. They're they're not as painful there i mean they're still painful because you're still fighting with people for the resources but you're not fighting with so many people that it's nearly impossible to complete that particular quest at any rate i will continue to keep playing new world i think it's a great mmo i haven't played mmo in a long 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 time and so i'm happy to get involved into a new mmo and experience all the goodness of it and of course it's going to get better it's going to grow over time. You're going to see new content, new quests. They're going to make changes, balancing changes, all kinds of changes are to come. I'm sure of it. And so, you know, if you can deal with it right now, 
then go for it. Otherwise, wait, you know, wait six months and it'll probably be ironed out and evened out and a game that'll be worthy of its title and and the attention that it's getting. Because right now, I think a lot of people feel really jaded about it. At any rate, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Would love to have you in the community. If you want to follow me on any of my social media, you can find the links in the description below. And make sure to hit that notification bell. That way you know when I go live and when I post new videos. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.